Hey everyone, welcome to this psychology lecture series. In this video, we are going to talk about operational definitions. An operational definition is the statement of procedures the researcher is going to use in order to measure a specific variable. We need operational definitions in psychology so that we know exactly what researchers are talking about when they refer to something. Think about how words mean something different to people from different cultures. To avoid any confusion about definitions, in research, we explain clearly what we mean when we use a certain term. Let us take a look at the example where a researcher wants to measure if age is related to addiction. Here, we have two variables. They are age and addiction. In order to make the research as clear as possible, the researcher must define how they will measure these variables. As of the variable 1, age might seem straightforward. You might be wondering why we need to define age if we all know what age is. However, one researcher might decide to measure age in months in order to get someone's precise age, while another researcher might just choose to measure age in years. As far as the variable 2, the variable of addiction is slightly more complicated than age. In order to operationalize it, the researcher has to decide exactly how they want to measure addiction. They might narrow down their definition and say that addiction is defined as going through withdrawal when the person stops using a substance. Or researchers might decide that the definition of addiction is if someone currently meets DSM-5's diagnostic criteria for any substance use disorder. Here, let us consider that the researcher chose the DSM-5's criteria for defining variable 2, that is addiction. So, the final definition here can be put forward like this. In this research study, age is defined as participants' age measured in years and the incidence of addiction is defined as whether or not the participant currently meets the DSM-5 diagnostic criteria for any substance use disorder. Operationalization has the great advantage that it generally provides a clear and objective definition of even complex variables. It also makes it easier for other researchers to replicate a study and check for reliability. I hope you like this video. Please share this videos with everyone who is preparing for this exam. Thank you.